The Liberals are proposing a carbon social credit scheme for Canadian banks, and they want to do it in legislation and regulation. Today, I'll show you the motion one Liberal MP is bringing forward in the House of Commons, which proposes a green reset for the Canadian financial sector. If you're someone like me and you follow the climate cult madness, then you're well aware of the Paris Accord signed in 2015 by the Justin Trudeau Liberals. It's the United Nations Global Warming Scheme. It's a legally binding document which affirms that the Western first world countries should transfer money to developing countries under the auspices of mitigating climate change. The accord also requires countries to set targets to keep the world under 1.5 degrees of global warming since pre-industrial times. And I'm not even sure how you would even measure that because you can't even accurately measure the temperature in your backyard based on where you're putting the thermometer. But these people want to get an accurate measure of the entire surface of the earth and then take the average and then tell you how many CO2 emissions that you can use before you up the average, it's completely impossible, but that's never stopped these people before. And emission targets really aren't the goal, they're the means to an end. The goal is control of how you live and move throughout the world. And of course, that wealth transfer to the developing world. It's really a watermelon policy. It's green on the outside, but red, like communism <laughs> on the inside. Anyway, the liberals are introducing a motion. Today, as I'm filming this, it's Monday. The motion should be introduced today and then perhaps debated later on in the week. And the motion will require banks to enforce the Paris Accord targets. Look at this. The motion is proposed by Liberal MP Ryan Turnbull of Whitby. It's motion 84, which reads that in the opinion of the House, the government should use all legislative and regulatory tools at its disposal to align Canada's financial system with the Paris Agreement made by the Conference of the Parties under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Would this motion potentially mean that your bank could deny you financing if you have one too many vehicles or too big of a house for Canada to meet their Paris Accord targets? Or maybe a financial institution would deny financing to a large energy project, killing jobs and economic opportunity for thousands of Canadians because that major energy project might push Canada's greenhouse gas targets above what the United Nations says we should be allowed to have. If you think I'm crazy, I'm not. Mark Carney is already talking about those sorts of things. The society is putting tremendous value on achieving net zero. So the companies and those who invest in them and lend to them who are part of the solution will be rewarded. Uh, but those who are lagging behind and are still part of the problem will be punished. Or maybe your bank could just turn off your debit card if you filled up your vehicle a few too many times in a week. This liberal nonsense is absolutely chilling. This is a carbon social credit scheme and it's being proposed as a mainstream liberal policy idea, something they're putting before the House of Commons. They're that confident in it. Canadians have already had their bank accounts frozen because, well, because of social credit crimes, because they supported the Freedom Convoy. But that was just a test. Now you could have your bank account frozen for being a climate criminal too. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreed. The Liberals have no problem seizing upon the fears of the public to bring in their agendas. They do it with gun control. Now they want to do it with climate change. To sign our petition against these sorts of social credit policies, please go to nogreenreset.com.